K2. Here goes. Ooh, I'll try. Ooh. Oh, well done, too. Now let's try it with a flip. Ooh. Here goes. Ooh, upside down. Have a go, too. You might be able to do it. Yahoo! Uh, two. That's your shape upside down. Watch out. One's having a go. I don't think one should try the upside down flip. No time now anyway. I've got to go. Scanning down? Yes, Agent 18 here. I'm one of the things that's gone wrong. Yes, we can see that. And we'll certainly send someone right away. That would be very good, thank you. Poor Agent 18. Yes, Four. You'd better get ready to go and help. Me? Yes, me. I can do it. Let me do the screens then, please. All right. Four's going out. And I'm operating the screen. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem, who's going out there? Number four. <laughs> Thank you. Today it is I, number three, who is checking the room is clear. Just get on with it, three. Jasper on the sofa, otherwise all clear. Off you go. with the numbers. That's weird. Keep looking, three. Oh, yes. I think that's a four. Whoa! Ow! You could have told me I was the wrong way up. Right, let's get going. We've got another call. Is Agent 37 here? I'm all right, but this car isn't. That car isn't going anywhere like that. That doesn't look right. That's just not working at all. Thanks for letting us know, Agent 37. Another call. Agent 58 here. There's a man who's having lots of problems. Putting it on screen. That's weird. Very weird. That doesn't look very smart. Perhaps he can't see without his glasses. That's weird. Poor man. We need help, Number Jacks. Don't worry. Number Jack 4 should be with you soon. But what's going wrong today? What's the same about the car and the trousers and the hat? They're all upside down. Of course. Some things are being turned upside down. But who could be doing it? I think I know. Listen, 
Spooky Spoon, I'm not horrible, but you are. No, you look here. Look what I've done by turning things upside down. <laughs> I've made the hotel man look very silly. <laughs> oh, no. He's supposed to be really smart. Not with trousers like that. He's going to lose his job. Oh, what a shame! I don't think. <laughs> now, who else can I be mean to by turning things upside down? Spooky You'd better get after her, Four. OK. If we don't stop Spooky Spoon turning things upside down, Anything could happen. <laughs> if your bike was upside down, it wouldn't work. Oh. And it would be very painful. And if trees were upside down, all we'd see is their bare roots sticking up. And if your bathroom was upside down, well, there'd be water everywhere. Oh. Oh. And going to the loo would be impossible. Possible. We've got to stop that spooky spoon. Yes, quick. She's here in the dining room. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh no. no! This is going to be messy. Very messy. <gasps> and one more bit of upside downness. Oh no! <laughs> oh my word! We need brain game to sort this out. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Getting the brain game going. The brain gain is coming soon, Spooky Spoon. Oh, good. And because you're going to need it. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Sending brain gain now. Oh, oh. I can't control the brain game when I'm upside down. Oh, poor boy. He's no good upside down. Maybe there's a number jack who could work upside down. Let's have a look. Maybe a numberjack who looks about the same shape when they are upside down. How about eight? Eight about the same shape upside down. Just checking that. Oh, yes. Eight shape is about the same both ways up. Emergency call to numberjack eight. Four needs your help. I'm on my way. Quick, Spooky's up to more tricks. The broom won't work like that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> OK, ready to help. And I'm ready to help you to be turned upside down! <laughs> no problem for me. Send that brain game to put things the right way up. Sending right way up brain game. Firing brain game. Oh no, it's not working. It can't be a problem with eight. He looks about the same both ways up. Maybe the problem is in the brain game machine with five. Oh no, I don't look the same both ways up. 
We need another Numberjack who looks about the same both ways up. We'll never find a Numberjack like that. Number one, it's you. Quick, in the brain game machine. Yes, quick. I'm getting more than a little dizzy. <laughs> Sending brain game. Put things the right way up. Sorted everything. Just one other thing. Me! Oh, sorry. You number jacks, you spoil my fun! And we sort you out, Spooky. <laughs> and last of all, I'll sort me out. Four and eight. I didn't do much. We're a team, four. Yes, I've got it all on screen. Those toys don't work when they're upside down. Oh, and that poor man would have lost his job. And so would the waitress. Very strange restaurant. Spooky spoon turning everything upside down. And eight helped me out. And one. Everything sorted. Okay, one, try the upside down flip. Uh... Yes! You're nearly the same shape upside down. Come on, there's a lot of us want to go. Number jacks one and eight are about the same shape both ways up. I wonder if they're the only ones. Is there another number jack that's about the same shape both ways up? Or anything else that's the same both ways? If so, call the number jack. Ready, buddy block? You won't get it in the circle. I will. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes! I've got one, two, three blocks in the circle. We can beat you, can't we, buddy blocks? Your blocks get too excited. They're excited. Cos they're going to win. Here we go. Mm. Woo! Woo! Yes! Yes! I've got one, two, three. That's more than yours. You know I've got three as well. I counted them. But they've been moved. They might be a different number now. No, they won't. One, two, three. Hmm. Things don't change number just because they've moved around. See, yours have moved. Yes, there might be more now. There won't be. One, two, three. Huh. Well, they definitely look more. That's a long line. I know what you mean, three. But in fact, it doesn't matter if things move or if they're in a long line. It's still the same number. It's just the counting that counts. Well, let's count them then. Yes, it'll be the same number. Let's see. Yes, in the circle, there's one, two, three for me, and... <laughs> oh, none for you. What? Like you said, it's the counting that counts. We've got an aging 
agent calling in. Which one? Agent 81 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. I need help. Everyone is busy counting. That's all right. We like counting. But they're counting all the time. They can't get on with anything else. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Teddy's moved. Yes, and now she thinks she has to count them all over again. She's going to be there all day. Exactly. No point in counting when you don't need to. Five, you'd better get out there and sort things out. I'm on my way. Get ready for launching. Hey, we've got a problem. What do we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Stand by for launching. Checking the room's empty. Looking for a five. Looking for a five. And found one. Oh. Okay. Let's see if anyone else is counting when they don't need to. We have an agent calling in. Agent 44 here. And a very good number, if I may say so. What's the problem, Agent 44? It's the waitress. She's spending so much time counting, the customers are getting fed up waiting. They'll never get their food at this rate. Agent 63 here. The man in the office keeps on counting his papers. He'll get fed up counting all the time. And look what's happening at the school. I could help her count those children. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, she's starting to count again. A teacher ought to know you don't need to count again just because things have moved around. This is getting serious. The children are never going to get outside to play. OK, agents, let's sort these problems out. There are two problems. Things are moving when they shouldn't be. And people are counting things when they don't need to. Let's sort the problems one by one. Five, why are the children and things moving? Help me look closely. Putting close-ups on screen. Look! Blobs of slime. That's why they're moving. Ah, oh, yes. And I can see where the blobs came from. The problem blob. On screen now. Yes, what? A blob of slime. Yes, what? A slob. Can I? Uh-oh. Big and blubbery. Blubbery. Making trouble is the blubbery. Slubbery. The blobs of slime are making the children and everything move. Right. We're sending brain gain to protect things from the blobs so they stop moving. Brain gain, brain gain to solve the problem. Use our brain. You're waiting to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain gain. I can do it. 
brain gain to protect the moving things from blocks. Sending brain gain. Protect the children from blobs. Protect the papers from blobs. Protect the plates from blobs. Let's hope that's worked. Yes! Ah. The plates aren't moving anymore, so she doesn't have to count them. Oh, no. That's the problem, Blob. Don't worry. We've protected the plates from getting blobs on them. Oh, oh no. The plates moved because she slipped. And she stopped to count them again. Let's hope the man in the office is all right. We've protected the papers from blobs so they shouldn't move. The fan's blowing the papers around. And the man thinks he's got to count them again. We've protected the children from blobs on them. Hope there isn't another way they're going to start moving. Oh no! The teacher thinks she's got to count them all again just because they've moved. If people keep thinking like that, anything could happen. People would stop and count their legs every time they walked. Or count their fingers every time they moved. Or a shepherd would think he had to count his sheep again every time any of them moved. And that's what counting sheep does to you. It could be disastrous. We've tried to stop things from moving. What else can we do? The real problem isn't the things moving, it's people counting them all the time. It's like you said for. Things don't change number just because they move. That's the message we need to get out there. Send Brain Gang telling everyone what 4 says. Oh, thank you. Let's get the message out there. Let's send 4's message to everyone. Things don't change number just because they move. She's counted them. Things don't change number just because they move. The children are moving, but she knows she doesn't need to count them again. At last, they're going out to play. Let's sort the man in the office now. More brain gain coming up. He's counting his papers. <laughs> Things don't change number just because they move. He's not counting them again. Great! Counting the plates. Let's hope for the last time. Don't worry, she's not going to count the plates again. Things don't change number just because they move. Well, everyone's happy here at last. The blob isn't. No more fun for the blob, now that people know they don't have to count every time. He's gone. Come on back. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, well done, Five. You got Four's message out loud and clear. And we've got it all on screen. The girl kept counting her teddies every time they moved. And so did the waitress with the plates. That man was getting very hungry. The man kept counting the papers. And the teacher kept counting the children, who couldn't go out to play. It was all the problem blocks fault for making things move. But once people knew they didn't have to count things every time they moved... Words of wisdom from me, number four. Everyone relaxed, and that was the end of the blob's fun. Hooray! Sorry about cheating a little bit last time, four. That's all right, three. 
Right. I shall count you only once. One, two, three. Now, move! They certainly moved, Three. Yes, and I know there are three of them. I don't need to count. I could count them for you, just to make sure. Oh, yes, please. One, two, three. Yes, still three. The best number ever. Get three things, count them, then move them around as much as you like. You'll see, it's still three. Three, three! You could try it with four things too. You could, but it won't be as much fun as three things. Check it out and call the number jacks. Right, the rules are you can only jump on triangles. Why's that? Because triangles have got three sides. One, two, three. So they're the shape that you use. And for me, rectangles have got four sides. One, one. Oh, I don't think you can manage this game, one. Or maybe let one have circles, because they've sort of got one curvy side. OK, one, you can have circles. Circles. One will never manage. I know. OK, let the race begin. OK! Triangle! Hang on! Rectangle! Triangle! Wait a minute, that's not a proper triangle. Well, that's definitely not a proper rectangle. Your shape's all wonky and pointy. So? It's still got three sides. And your shape's all long and thin. Who did it? One beat us. Only because you were arguing. Actually, it was you who was arguing. Ooh. Come on! Beat us by number one. Come on, four! Agent 99. Things are going wrong. But not for long. There's a girl with a toy blackboard. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Look what's happening to the blackboard. Wow. Huh. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. Oh. Whoa. Wow. That's weird. We'll get someone out there right away. Thank you. No need for thanks. It's our job. Who's going out? Today, I think it's going to be me. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem, need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. Checking the room's empty. All clear. Ready, Six? Ready and waiting. I'm looking for a six. Yes, looking for a six. And found a six. Ready for landing. OK, let's get sorting those problems. Another agent calling in. Agent 72 here. What's happening, Agent 72? There's a man having terrible trouble writing a letter. <laughs> Very weird. 
children are playing with a plastic hoop and I've got a feeling something strange is about to happen. Very strange things going on there, Six. Yes, and I can see why. to start the shape japer. Agents, any ideas? It's the shape japer that's making shapes bigger or smaller. Looking at the shapes, there's a rectangle. And a triangle. And a circle. Great! Send some brain gain to get the shapes back to their normal size. Powering up the brain gain machine. Brain gain. Brain gain to solve the problem, use our brain All way to get your brains all linking up together Joined up thinking Getting brain power now, brain gain Get the shape back to normal size Shape back to normal size Sending brain gain Get the shape back to normal size It's not working. Oh, no. Try the man and the paper. Shape back to normal. Oh, no. I did my best. I can't understand it. Try the flag. Shape back to normal size. Yes. What? How can the brain game work for the flag and not for the other things? My brain game did it. Maybe it's something about three and the shapes. The brain game worked because the flag is a triangle. So? A triangle's got three sides, so three's brain game worked. Oh, that's me! Number three! But three's brain game didn't work for the letter. That's a rectangle. What can we do? Four, you've got to go into the brain game machine. Me? Because the rectangle has got four sides. That's my number. Right you are. Six, we're getting the right number to deal with each different shape. Here we go! Number four brain game for getting rectangles back to normal size. Yes, just got the hoop to deal with now. Who's going to make the brain game? The circle's only got one curved side, so we need number jack one. That's what I thought, Agent 99. So let's try it. Sending number one brain game to deal with circles. <laughs> yes, we did it! Hooray! <sighs> oh, what now? The shape draper is still making trouble. Look! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Those are weird shapes. <laughs> oh, look at his hanky. Wow, those shapes are really changing. <laughs> if the shape japer keeps changing shapes like that, anything could happen. If you had sandwiches that were stretched and changed shape, they 
might be really hard to eat. And if your TV changed, things wouldn't fit on the screen. Oh, and if a car's wheels got stretched, oh, cars would bounce up and down and everyone would be sick. That shape, Japer, has got to be stopped. Yes, quick. Look what's happening to the flag on the bike. Oh, we've got to do something about that. I'm not sure it's still a triangle. It looks weird, but it's still got three sides. So maybe it is a triangle. I'll try. Number three brain game. Sort that triangle. That funny shape was a triangle. And so was the handkerchief. I hope those are all rectangles. They've all got four sides, so it's worth a try. Sending number four brain game to sort out those rectangles. They were all rectangles. Just like the blackboard. We need help here too. Look what the shape jape is doing to the hoops. The shape has changed. But they've still got one side. Sending number one brain game to sort those shapes. <laughs> Oh no, I can't sort these circles. Number one brain game isn't working. Oh, don't panic! I think I know. It's because you got the name of the shape wrong. Yes, when circles are squashed, they change to a shape called ovals. OK, sending brain game to turn those ovals back into circles. Oval and out. Yes, we did it! The shapes are back to normal. <laughs> that sorted her. Come back now, Six. The brain game did the trick. And we've got it all on screen. There was trouble with shapes like rectangles. They were getting bigger and smaller. Same with the man's papers. The flag was a triangle that changed size. And the hoop was a circle that changed size. We sorted them with the right number jack making the brain game. The shape paper changed the shapes. But they were still triangles with three sides. And these look weird, but they were still rectangles with four sides. And these hoops changed. They still had one side, but now they were ovals, not circles. And once we knew that... All sorted. Now that's a good one. What is? I'm trying to find the longest, thinnest rectangle I can find. That's a good idea. What's the longest, thinnest rectangle you can find? And how long and thin could a rectangle be? before it becomes a line. No. Oh. Have a look around and call the number jacks. OK, one. The hover dice rolls itself. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whatever number comes up, you move that many places down the number track. Ready? OK, hover dice. Please roll. It's two. You move two squares. No, one, one. Yes, all right. You like the number one. If we ask the hover dice very nicely... One. One. And you're on square number one. Let's see what number you move this time. Oh. Lovely number. It's a three. But the number you like is one. One. Oh, all right. Very.
Very good. Now you're on square number two. And another roll. Six. One, one, one. All right, all right. One. And we finally arrived at square number three. Lovely. Oh, do some more another time. Bye. <laughs> But not for long. Have a look. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. They look all right. Yes, but... What do they want that for? I don't think she does want it. They've got another thing. Not very interesting. Another thing. That's three silly things they've got. Oh, dear. They definitely need some help, Agent 108. And it's not just her. <coughs> That's strange. <coughs> so is that. <coughs> and that's very strange. OK, we're definitely sending someone. Thank you. I just got a feeling it ought to be number three. Yes, yes, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Excuse me. It's time for launching. Hey, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Who's going out there? Number three. <laughs> Checking the rooms, Auntie. Here we go. Scanning for a three. Scanning those numbers. Found a three. Hup. Oh, yes. Number three has arrived. Watch out for more problems. Agent 12 here. There are grown ups having trouble now. Putting them on screen. Wow. Weird. This is all very strange. I'm here, I'm here. Good. We're going to need you. Whoa! Oh! This is definitely odd. I can deal with it. Yes, but first we've got to work out what's going on. Agent, can you see any patterns here? Agent 63. I think it's something to do with freeze. Put and get up on screen. People get one thing, then two things, then three things. And they do three things too. One move, then two moves, then three moves. One, two, three. Like the first three squares on the number track. We need to know who's causing the problem. <laughs> oh. I think I know. The puzzler! Data on screen. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a 
The puzzle out, the puzzle will solve you. I'm... I'm not scared of you, Mr. Puzzler. Well, how lovely, little three. You're as brave as brave could be. We know how you're making trouble. So what's the pattern? Do you know? Come on, quickly. It's time to show. It's one thing. Then two things, then three. Oh, very good. So I won't trap you. If I had hands, I'd even clap you. More trouble with things. Maybe we should count them this time. She's got one, two, three, and now four things. Five. Six. Four, five, then six. He did one, two, three moves, and that's four. Five. Six. Four, five, six. We know the pattern. Let's tell three right away. Hang on. I can't get through to three at the moment. I can't contact her. Maybe Brain Game could get through. Good idea. Send the Brain Game to three to help her. Firing up Brain Game. The next part of the pattern is four, five, six. Sending brain game. Well, the brain game is left here, but I'm not sure it's arrived. We've got to help three solve the puzzler's challenge. It's one, two, three, then four, five, six. If the puzzler keeps making things follow the pattern, anything could happen. A car might have one steering wheel, then two, then three, and the driver wouldn't know which one to use. Or the dancing cow might start dancing with four legs and get leg number five and leg number six. Then the next thing might be... Quick! Oh! I'm worried, Five. There's still no contact with Three. It's time to put out an emergency call. Ready to broadcast to all number jacks. Calling all number jacks. Calling all number jacks. We've lost contact with Three. Well, little Three, you're on your own. So what's the pattern? Do you know? Well, it was one, two, three. And? Uh, I, uh, wait a minute. The dice. The dice showed one, two, three, then four, five, six. But what comes next? Tell me quick. What comes after four, five, and six? Oh, I don't know. There's nothing comes after six on the dice. Ah! Calling all number jacks. Three's moved. We don't even know where she is anymore. She's got to contact us somehow. And I'll keep trying. I've got to hide till I can answer the puzzle. What's after one, two, three, four, five, six? <laughs> Wait a minute. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how the pattern goes on. Seven, eight, nine. All number jacks, we're getting the message. Seven, eight, nine. Well, my friend, at last it's time. What's the pattern? Seven, eight, nine. Huh. It seems you know it, but you don't win unless you show it. Oh, how can I show seven, eight, and nine? Like this. And this. And this. Wow, I didn't expect that to happen. Huh. You've certainly shown the pattern, but I'm not done. There's still time for having fun with seven, eight, nine. No, Puzzler, your tricks aren't kind. But they're such fun. Seven, eight, nine. No, Puzzler, 
It's time to put everything back to normal. Well done, everybody. Send in Brain Game. Start the pattern. One, two, three. Back to normal is what you see. Go on with the pattern. Four, five, six. Everything is being fixed. Finish the pattern. Seven, eight, nine. Everything is looking fine. No more fun. It's such a bore. All the things are back to normal. <laughs> That's the end of my little show. Time for you know who to go. <laughs> Come back now, three and seven, eight, nine. Done, everyone. Glad you're all right, three. Thanks to seven, eight, and nine. We've got it all on screen. They had one, two, three silly things. And they did one, two, three funny moves. It was all the puzzlers' fault. And then the pattern was four, five, six things and moves. But I worked out the next bit of the pattern. And seven, eight, and nine arrived. Then everything was back. OK, Zero, you tell us when to start the pattern. Go. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Hooray! I wonder, how would the pattern carry on? Try and find out and call the number jacks. Beautiful things. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, four. Do you notice anything strange? No. Well, you won't notice if you don't look. Hang on, I'm reading. It's something strange and beautiful. Well, oh. Well, I can see strange. Not sure about the beautiful. I don't mean me. Well, there's nothing else to notice. Not now there isn't, no. So I've been stopped from reading my book to try to notice Nothing. You were too slow. I was not. You should just admit you're not very good at noticing things. I can notice things, but there has to be something to notice. You're just not a good noticer. I am a perfectly good noticer. Ah! Wow, you didn't notice that. That's true. I noticed that, though. Agent's calling in. Oh, come on! Not for long. Tell us the problem, Agent 81. Have a look what's happening to this girl. Putting it on screen. <laughs> That's weird. And so is that. Wow. That girl has got a very strange bedroom. Yes, even four noticed. Well, Agent 81, we'll definitely send someone out to investigate. Oh, thank you. And I think this is a job for number four. We got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We got a problem, do we choose? Who's going out there? Number four. <laughs>
scanning for a four to land on. Go for it, Five. Found a four. Oh! oh! Keep your eyes open, Four. There are very strange things going on. I'm on the case. Looks like there's more work for Four to do. Agent 108 here. What's happening, Agent 108? There are more problems. Look at the cleaner. On screen. Oh, dear. Whoa! I've seen a posh lady getting ready to go out. And? You'd better see for yourself. That looks normal. Oh, it's an interesting new look. But I don't think Four, we've got more problems. I know. Look what's happening here. That's all right. Can't she see what's going on? Looks like nobody is seeing anything that's going on. Wow. That's a very unusual school. What's going on here? Agents, any ideas? is a bit different from tomato ketchup on your face. But the people didn't notice anything was different. That's what's the same. Agent 27 is right. These strange things keep happening, but nobody is noticing. And if you don't notice things, you can't do anything about them. But now we have noticed and we're going to do something about it. Yes, we better had. Or anything might happen. An artist might be painting a picture and the brush goes strange and she might make a terrible mess and not notice at all. Or a man could be playing a lovely tune and a bird flies into his tuba and the bird lays an egg and everything. And the man doesn't notice anything. Or your bike could turn into the dancing cow, dancing a jig and you wouldn't even notice, even if you fell off and the cow fell on you. We've got to find out why people aren't noticing things. Agents, everybody, keep your eyes open for anything strange happening. See if there are any clues as to who is causing all this trouble. There's something strange going on with the cleaner. He hasn't noticed his vacuum cleaner's changed. I'm sure I've seen that white one before. More trouble for the teacher! Where have I seen those white gloves before? I think something's going to happen here too. Wait a minute. A sucker-upper, white gloves and a tall white hat. They all belong to... The Number Taker! Number Taker, Number Taker Have you seen the Number Taker? Taking all the numbers you can see Picking, making, getting mad As mean a Number Taker as can be Oh, his number sucker up He's a number mucker up He's as mean a Number Taker as can be is behaving very strangely. He is. Look. He's smiling. Whoa. He usually takes things. He is. He's taking away people's noticing. And he's having a joke. Not a very nice joke. Well, we can sort things out. I'll get some brain gain going. We'll send brain gain to get things back to normal. And get people noticing things too. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. 
Let's do it! Great game to make people notice things! Make people notice things... ...and sort them out! To normal. And sorted. Yes. We can help people spot all the things that have gone wrong. Oh, dear. Wait a minute. We've helped people notice things being changed, but now look. Oh. I thought the brain game got them noticing things again. Why hasn't she noticed? She hasn't noticed because it's not a thing that's changed. It's a person. Well, send the right brain game. And quick! Sending brain game. Notice things and people. Notice things and people. somewhere else. After him, four. It's the number taker. They haven't noticed. He's pretending to be their teacher. They've got to notice. It's the number taker. They can't notice people. Sending brain games. <laughs> Notice things and people. Let's get rid of the number taker and all his crazy jokes. Come back for all clear for landing. One, two, three, four. Well done, four. Well, that was very strange. It's all on screen. The number taker took away everyone's noticing skills. You'd normally notice that. And you certainly notice that. And you really ought to notice things like that happening. We had some clues to help us know who was causing trouble. The number taker. We helped people notice all the things that changed. But they weren't noticing when people changed. It's not right for you, lady. We helped the lady to notice. And everything was back to normal. I'll tell you one thing I did notice today, Four. What's that? You were very brave facing the number taker. Oh, thank you, Three. And I've noticed... Yes? You can be very kind. Yes, I can, can't I? Anyway, it's very important to notice things. So you keep your eyes and ears open. And if you see anything strange... Call, call the, the number, number jacks. jacks. Right, Five. You watch what my buddy blocks can do. I'm watching. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow. They look different. Yeah. 
When they're like this, I call them my buddy sticks. And watch them move. That's fantastic. And they love lining up. Line up by the stairs. One, two, three. Oh, that's great. You have a go. Yes, please. Line up by the jumping platform. One, two. That's really good, Six. I love my buddy sticks. One day, I might let them come on a mission with me. Hey, an agent calling in. Let's go. Not for long. There's a girl trying to do some drawing. Putting it on screen. Oh, I hope it's a good picture. Oh, it won't be now. The pen keeps changing. She's doing her best. She's not going to be able to draw if the pen keeps changing. Right, we'll get someone out there right away. Thank you. Who's going, Six? I think this is a mission for me. We got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. <laughs> My buddy sticks are coming later. Ready for launch. And I'm scanning the room. And it's all clear. Here we go then. Looking for a six. Looking. And yes, found a six. There you go. Right, I'm ready to get things sorted. More problems. There's a man at the hotel. Watch his trousers. Oh dear. That's not good. And look at this. It's the knife and fork. They look all right. It's not easy to eat like that. Oh, like that. Oh, no. More problems. It's the cleaner. He has problems too. Six, there's lots going wrong. I know. What's happening with the cleaner? I think I can guess. I was right. And I bet... Yes. Things keep changing. Can anyone see how things are changing? Things keep getting longer. And then shorter. Things are changing length. There's pairs of things with the same length. Then one thing in each pair changed, and they weren't the same length anymore. Who could be doing this? I think I know. <laughs> the shape changer. Data on screen.
We can beat the shape, Japer. We've got to get the things back to the right length. But how do we know what the right length is? Agents, any ideas? We do know what length the things were. How? Each pair of things started off the same length. Oh, yes. So make the thing that changed match the thing that didn't change and it will be back to the right length. We can do that. Hang on, Six. We'll be sending you brain gain very soon. Make the pairs match in length. Make the pairs match in length. Sending brain game now. Make the pairs match in length. The two things are the same length. Make the pairs match in length. The girl's got another pen we can match lengths with. Did the trick. Hooray! We sorted the shape, Japer. Oh, no, we haven't. Things are changing length again. <laughs> oh, no! tie the right length again? No, we don't know what the right length is. We haven't got anything to match it with. The cleaner's having more trouble. <laughs> oh no! How can we make the mop the right length again? We haven't got another mop to match it with. Oh dear. If the shape japer keeps changing the length of things, anything could happen. A slide might get very short, or it might get very long, oh, and a bit too whizzy. Or trees might get very short, or get very tall. Or roads might get very long, or very short. <laughs> We've got to stop the shape japer changing the length of things. Yes, she's up to her tricks with lots of people's ties. She's changing the length of lots of people's mops. <laughs> oh no! Everybody's ties and mops have changed length. We could change them back to normal if we knew how long they were before. But they've all been changed. We've got nothing to match them with. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I found one man the shape japer has missed. And he's got a tie. And a mop. I'm on my way. Yes. We can find out how long things are supposed to be and change them back. We can borrow the man's tie and mop. And we can use them to measure everybody else's. Oh, no. Oh, oh. We've got a problem. Whoa. The man won't lend us the tie and his mop. Why not? He's worried the shape japer will see them and change them too. So we can't use them to measure the things that have changed. Is there any way we can do it without borrowing them and taking them away? Use the buddy sticks. They're good at measuring things. Wow, yes. Buddy sticks, buddy sticks. Okay, buddy sticks, your mission is measure this man's tie from one end to the other. One, two. The tie is two buddy sticks along. Now the mop six. Measure the mop. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. The mop is six buddy sticks long. OK, we know how long things are supposed to be. Let's get some brain gain out there. Ties are two sticks long. Ties are two sticks long. Two sticks long. Two sticks long. Two sticks long. Don't forget the mop, Six. We're on the case. Mops are six sticks long. Six sticks. That's hard to say. Six sticks long. Six sticks long. Six sticks long. Your measuring sticks are brilliant, Six. Yes. Watch them measure the shape, Japer. One, five. One, five. One, five. Come back now, Six. Six. And the measuring sticks. I've left them to finish off the measuring job. Let's see what the problem was. The girl's pen changed legs. So did the trousers and the knife. And the brush. But we matched them up and got them back to the right length. But the ties didn't have anything to match up with because all the ties had changed. And so had all the mops. There was just one of each, which the sticks could measure and go and sort things out. Hooray! Lucky we had your sticks to help us measure, Six. Yeah. Have you got some things that are long and thin that you could use as measuring sticks? If you have, do some measuring. And any problems, call the number jack. Right. Are you sure we've got enough boxes out? I think so. So will you finally tell me, why do you want so many boxes? Well, you know I love my beautiful things. You've mentioned it once or twice. And I love having them in my beautiful things box. Yes. But I think it will be even lovelier to have them in lots of boxes. <sighs> Let's do it! Woo! Oh. Yeah! Ah! Ah! Ooh! Hey! Ah! Ooh! Hey! Yeah! Whoa! Ah! Be careful! Ooh! Oh! My dream is to have one box for each beautiful thing. And one thing in each box! My dream is a quiet lie-down. In a moment, I am going to see one beautiful thing in each box. Oh. oh. I'm not getting a good feeling about this. A beautiful thing looks a bit lonely. Just one in a box. Oh. And somehow not quite so lovely. Oh, dear. In fact, let's go back to one box with lots of beautiful things in it. Oh, dear me. And all these other boxes can be put away again. But we've just got them out. Sometimes, Four, you try something out, but it turns out it's wrong. You just have to think again. But all these boxes... Quick, the alarm! Let's go! We've got an agent reporting a problem. Agent 
58 here. Something's going wrong. But not for long. There's a boy having trouble with his bike helmet. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Looks all right so far. But not now. No helmet. And now look. Two helmets. He's only got one head. Two helmets are nearly as bad as no helmet at all. This is definitely a problem we need to sort out. Thank you. And I think the number jack for the job is... Number five. Hey, hey, we've got a problem. What do we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Who's going out there? Number Five. Yes, I'm fine. Checking it's all clear for launching. Only Jasper. Then let's go. Finding a five to land on. Got some fives. Got a good five. Oh! Oh. Okay, five. Five's arrived. Let me get going to sort that problem out. Yes, there are problems. Keep an eye on the plates. Looks okay so far. That's weird. Very strange. And getting stranger. Watch the chairs. What's going on? There aren't enough chairs. Now there's too many. Too few chairs again. We've got a call. Agent 63 here. There's a girl having trouble. Looks okay so far. But watch. <laughs> that was quite funny. <laughs> Four, we're trying to solve problems here. <laughs> Sorry. Agents, can you see a pattern? Any idea what the problem is? The trouble is, sometimes people don't have enough things. And sometimes they've got too many. We need everyone to have one thing each. One chair each, one lipstick each, one each. Well, that sounds fair. But some things making things not fair. What can it be? Oh, oh I think I know. <laughs> yes, it's me! We know all about Spooky Spoon. Uh -oh. One, two, three, she's me. She's bossy, she's very cool. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's funny, plastic, but she thinks she's fantastic. OK, Five, you've got to stop her. Look, Spooky, I'm looking. Don't like what I see, though. Everything's getting mixed up, thanks to you. Oh, no need to thank me. The rule is everyone should have one thing each. Oh, do you think so? Yes, and we're sending Brain Game to make it happen. Getting the Brain Game going. Brain game, brain brain to solve the problem. Use our brain. Ways to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain power. Sending one thing each. Brain game. One each 
much of everything. One check each. One plate each. Hooray! See, Spooky? One each of everything is best. Oh, yes. I couldn't agree more. I don't like the sound of that. Just one each of everything. <laughs> what does she mean? Oh, no. They don't look happy. They've got one chair and one plate each. Yes, but look what's on each plate. Just one bit of cheese, one pea, one bit of carrot and one bit of spaghetti. Oh, dear. You did say one each of everything. Yes, we did. Oh! One table each. <laughs> and one waitress each. Oh, dear. Oh, I like this idea of one thing each. <laughs> oh, no. If Spooky makes everything have one thing each, anything could happen. The whole world might have only one tree. And the tree might have only one branch. With only one twig. With only one leaf. And only one insect. Ooh. With only one leg. Oh. And there might be only one bird. With only one wing, so it couldn't fly. <laughs> We've got to stop that spooky spoon. Yes, she's causing trouble making one each of things. And we thought one each was a good rule. Sometimes we have to think again. Look. That brush has got far too many bristles. <laughs> Just one bristle. <laughs> oh, this class has got too many children. Just one child. <laughs> and that chair has got far too many legs. <laughs> We've got to sort things out. One each doesn't work. It works sometimes, but not always. We need a mixture of brain games. How about sometimes the rule is one thing each and sometimes the rule is lots of things each? I can send that brain game. One thing each or lots of things each. Whichever is best. Got to use this carefully. He needs just one helmet, but the bike needs two wheels. The girl needs one brush, but the brush needs lots of bristles. That man needs one chair, but the chair needs four legs. And you need one plate, but with lots of bits of food. And the class needs one teacher, but lots of children. And what about me? I think that very tall tree needs one spooky spoon. <laughs> Everything sorted. Come back now, Five. On five. You sorted everything out. We didn't get it right the first time, though. Never mind. We got it right in the end. And it's all on screen. The boy didn't have just one helmet. The girl didn't have one lipstick. And in the cafe, they didn't have one chair and plate each. We thought we sorted it with brain game that made it one thing each. But that meant they only had one bit of each food. With one bristle is no good. 
nor is a class with just one child. Sometimes you need one thing, and sometimes lots of things. It's not always the first rule you think of. Well, the last of those extra boxes put away. I am one number jack who was very happy to have one friend who helped me. Yeah, yeah. I also like having one box, but that box is best with lots of things in it. Oh, beautiful. Lovely things. So, have you got anything that it's good to have just one of? And things it's good to have lots of? Have a think and call the number jacks. OK, now open your eyes. Wow, two hover dice. Great. Could we try and roll my number? And mine. Well, let's see. The first dice can go up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can use the other dice to count on to bigger numbers. Right. First hover dice. Roll, please. Great. My number. Let's go, zero. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six. Now the other hover dice. Ooh. Roll, please. Will we count on to my number? Count on one more. No, don't go back. Zero's right back at the beginning. Zero, you don't have to go back to the beginning. You just count on from the number you'd got to. Let's try again. First dice, please. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And the number to count on is... Three. One, two... Oh, no! Zero. Just carry on counting from where you get to. Don't go back to the beginning. We'll try again later. Got to go! Agent 12. Things are going wrong. But not for long. People keep going back to the beginning. Sounds weird. Have a look. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Whoa. He's been stuck doing that over and over for ages. <laughs> Definitely looks like a problem. So can you help? That's what we're here for. Great. And the number jack going out there is... Me! We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? There's a problem, need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. <laughs> For a six and looking and finding that's a six. Huh. Oh. Okay, let's do it. I hope six gets things sorted. More things to sort. Agent 12, 
imagine to 108 here, there's someone else who keeps on going back to the beginning. Six, I think he's near you. I can see him. I think he's counting the steps he's taking. <laughs> back to the beginning again. <laughs> and again. Weird. Agent 81 here. There's trouble in the restaurant. I'm on my way. She's counted them onto the plates and what? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what is going on? Is there a pattern? Everyone is counting things. And they keep stopping and going back to the beginning instead of carrying on. But why? What's making them do it? Having a closer look. Can anyone see anything? There's a blob of slime. And another blob. Will we all know who's causing trouble then? The problem blob. On screen. Yuck, oh yuck! That problem blob needs sorting out. Yes, and quick. He's causing more problems at the school. Getting it on screen. The teacher's trying to count the children. One, two, three, four. She should carry on counting from where she got to. <laughs> She's gone back to the beginning again. The counting <laughs> will never get done. And the children will never get out to play. Found more problems for the waitress. <laughs> She's counting them. One, two, three, Counting from three. Mm -hmm. Oh no! She should have carried on counting. The problem blob keeps making people start counting at the beginning again. So anything could happen. If you wanted to know how many toys you'd got, one, two, three, four. If there were more toys to count, you'd go back to the beginning again. If the shepherd was counting his sheep, one, two, three. If more sheep arrived, he'd count the first lot again and the others would never get counted. If the first one, two, three tyres are ready on your racing car, you don't want to start counting again when another tyre is there. If you waste time starting again, you'll never win the race. <laughs> We've got to stop the problem, Blob. Yeah, get me some brain game. Let's do it. Don't start again. Carry on counting. I'll just say, carry on counting. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain always to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Carry on counting. Carry on counting. Sending brain game now. I'll show you how it's done. Watch out, Six. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Six has been blocked and he keeps going back to the beginning. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. Six has been blocked. Six has been blocked. Don't panic. Get him some counting on brain game. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, do it quick then. Count on. Count on from where you are. Sending brain game. Whoa. What's been going on?
going on? You kept on going back to the beginning. Over and over. Well, that won't happen again. Let's make everyone carry on counting. Carry on counting. Carry on counting. Don't start again. Carry on counting. One, two, three. Don't start again. Four, five. Hooray! At last, things are getting done. Brain game for the teacher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they can go out to play. Brain game for everyone to help them carry on counting. One, two, three. on that man Whoa. and well done that boy and one last bit of brain game let's get the problem blob counting on counting all its blobs <laughs> That sorted the blob, for a while at least. Come on back now, Six. I'm on my way. All clear for landing. Done, six. You kept going back to the beginning too. I was worried. I have to say, I was worried. It was weird. It's all on screen. The boy was first. He started counting from the beginning. Then the man. And the waitress kept starting counting again too. Even the teacher started counting from the beginning. All because of the problem block. And I kept starting again too. But Brain Game sorted you out. OK. And everything was sorted. Everybody carried on counting from where they'd got to. Let's see if you can help count on. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm? Hang on in there, Zero. Two. Carry on counting. Six, seven. Yes, my number. Let's see if we can count on to my number. You go back to the beginning again and the dice will roll. What numbers can you make with two dice? Count the first dice, then count on with the second dice. What different numbers can you count in? Find out and call the number jacks. Yay! Great going, little Buddy Block. They all want to have a go. Remember, Buddy Blocks, you've got to take turns. My Buddy Blocks get really excited. We'll try and make sure everyone's Buddy Blocks get a fair go. Well done. They're all getting a bit wild in here. It's got to be fair. Each different colour has got to have a chance. I'm not sure the buddy blocks are being fair. Well, one of yours is having a go now. The buddy blocks are getting upset. Is it right that another blue one's having a go? Quiet! Stand still a minute. We need to check which colours have had a go already. Well, I don't know who's had a go already. But we can find out. Look, we can see who has had a go already by looking at the marks. There's one, two green marks, so my buddy blocks have had two goes. 
And only one blue mark. And there are one, two, three red marks. So my buddy blocks, you stand back and let a blue buddy block go next. Luckily we had a record on the paper to show what had already happened. That looks a bit fairer. Blue or green go next. Got to go! See you later! There's something going wrong. But not for long. Tell us the problem. It's at the cafe. Putting it on screen. <laughs> the girl hasn't got any food and the boy has far too much. He'll be sick. And that poor girl will go hungry. So will you send someone? Definitely. Thanks. OK, who should go? Paul was very worried about that girl. OK, then. This is a mission for number four. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem. Do we Who's going out there? Number four. Checking the room's clear. for a four to land on. Found a four. Oh! Phew! Right, off I go. Things are getting worse at the cafe. She doesn't seem to have any idea who has ordered what food. And someone, or something, has torn the menu into little bits. I hope you can help her, Four. Oh, more things going wrong. Agent 72 here, there's a problem at the school. Putting it on screen. The group has been cutting out shapes, but now it's time for the group to do something else. So what's the problem? Some of them say it should be football, but some of them say it should be television. The teacher doesn't know whether more children want football or more want television. And everyone seems very overexcited. Why? I'm noticing something quite strange. Little bubbles. Maybe the bubbles are making the children overexcited. Looking closer. Who could be making bubbles and making trouble? I know. Look! We know all about the puzzler. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twist in mind. His bubbles, his trouble, if you get trapped inside. Sort the puzzle out, the puzzle will sort you. Puzzler, up to your tricks again. 
Yes, I have got a puzzle for you. You've got some finding out to do. What is the problem for the waitress? You'd better come up with a great guess. It's the same problem for the teacher. Find what it is, or I will beat you. <laughs> Agents, why is it the same problem for the waitress and the teacher? <laughs> They both don't know enough. The waitress doesn't know who has ordered what food, and the teacher doesn't know how many children want football and how many want television. I get it. Both of them need the right information. The waitress needs information about the food people want. And the teacher needs information about what the children want to do. And the puzzler's bubbles are making everything go wild. So getting the information is impossible. Oh, dear. Without the right information, anything could happen. <coughs> At the zoo, if they didn't have the right information about what animals like to eat, they might give leaves to the seals and throw fish to the giraffes. Or you might go shopping and not know what things you need and what you don't need. You might buy anything. Or people in a factory might not have the information on how to make a car and make it completely wrong. <laughs> people definitely need the right information to know what to do. OK, that's worked out the first part of the puzzler's puzzle. Oh, so you've worked it out, have you? OK, four, just tell me, do. The waitress and the teacher need information to help them do the right thing. Correct. Oh, now here's challenge number two. How can the waitress know what to do? <laughs> Anybody? Any ideas? How can the waitress remember what food to give to people? Maybe she could write it down. Great idea. Trouble is... <laughs> the puzzler's bubbled her pad and pencil. Is there any other way she could remember what food is needed? Maybe she could use the bits of the menu. Yes! Use the little pictures of the food to remind her what food to bring. That's what we need to tell her. I'll get the brain game machine going. We've got to make sure she can remember the information she needs. Use pictures of food to remember the information. Use the little pictures to remember the information. She's going to get the orders. <laughs> the boy wants a pizza. The girl wants spaghetti. And their dad wants pizza too. Ah, oh, yes. She knows she needs two pizzas and one spaghetti. The waitress has got the information she needs to bring the right food. You'd better go and sort the teacher. OK. How's the teacher getting on? Oh, dear. Not very well. Is there anything she could use to show who wants what? I wonder, is there anything she could do with these cards? I'm sure they could be used somehow. Some of them are round. Some of them are rectangular. That reminds me of something. I know. The teacher could use the cards for voting. How? The ones who want football can show a round card. Putting it on screen. A round card means you want football. And the ones who want television can vote with a rectangular card. A rectangular card means you want television. Brilliant. Let's send them the idea. Use cards to show what you want to do. Use cards to vote! She's getting the 
being sorted. She's going to get the information. They're going to vote. That's one vote for television and one vote for football. Who's going to win? So we've got a record of what everyone wants. And as you can see, there are more votes for football. The teacher has the information yes. she needs. And the ones who wanted television don't mind because they can see for themselves there's more votes for football. We've beaten the Puzzlers challenge. Oh, once again you're out of trouble. So off I go, me and my bubbles. <laughs> Come back now, Four. Managed to beat the puzzler again. All thanks to having the right information. And it's all on screen. The waitress didn't know what food the people had ordered. She didn't have the information. And the teacher didn't know what was more popular, football or television. But the waitress kept a record of what food was needed by using little pictures of food. And the children made a record of what they wanted by voting for it. Football got the most votes. And that's how we beat the puzzler. Hi, Six. We've been having a go on the jump pad. I bet you can't work out which of us has had the most goes. Well, I'll try. I think I can work it out. Can you see from the record who has had the most goes? And who has had only one go? And who should go next? And then maybe you could make your own record of something that you do and call the number jacks. I'm not sure I like this. You're fine for. My buddy blocks are very strong. I've never been as high as this before. Eight blocks high? Oh. Well done, Four. I think I'll jump down to my buddy blocks. Four. That's better. You're only half as high as you were. I'm feeling a lot better for it. Jump down again. Two blocks. Even better. That's only half as high as four. And half again is one. To be honest, this is quite high enough for me. I'll have a go. One. Not very exciting. Two. Twice as high as one block, but still doesn't do much for me. Careful! Four blocks! Pretty good, but I'm going for double that number. Eight blocks, here I come! Oh, oh yes! Yes, very nice! But come down now! Okay! Eight... Four... Two... One! We both did it! Yes! Ah, oh, more excitement. See you later, Thor. Not for long. Tell us the problem. Have a look at what's happening. Putting it on screen. <laughs> that bike's going to be hard to ride with only one wheel. And look at this boy in this car. <laughs> what happened? It had four wheels, but now it's only got two. No, only one wheel. Right, this needs sorting out. So? Yes, the number jacks are on their way. Thank you. And the number jack who's going is number four. Oh, even more excitement. <laughs> Problem to be Who's going out there? Number 
the fall. Good luck, Fall. I'm checking everything's clear. All clear. Off you go. for a four to land on. Well, not yet. Not yet. Found a four. Oh! Good luck, four. Thank you. More troubles. Agent 58 here. There are more things going missing. On the screen. Nice pair of earrings. Oh! Just one now. And four lovely rings. Two. Oh, one. That's strange. They look nice. Oh. What's going on? Agents, can you help us? Is there a pattern here? If there's four things, two get taken away and they become two. And if there are two things, one get taken away and it becomes one thing. OK, four becomes two and two becomes one. So we know what is happening, but why? I think I can hear something. Listen. I've heard that sound before. And I've seen that hat before. The number taker. All you need to know about him is going on screen. Number taker, number taker. Have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers you can see. Making, making, getting bad. as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, but he's as mean a number taker as can be. Be careful, Four. You've got to stop him taking things. OK. I think he's heading for the school. Four, you've got to get there before him. OK, I'll try. I've got the school on screen. Four, is there anything that the number taker might be after? Anything that there are four of, or two of? I think the papers are all right. There's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight things should be all right. I hope so. Oh, no. There were eight, but now there are only four. Two. One. Things are getting worse. The number ticker is making eight into four, four into two, and two into one. I'm sure that reminds me of something. What? When I was in the gym. Putting it on screen. I started on eight blocks, then jumped to half as high, four. Then jumped to half as high again, two. And half again, one. The number taker is making the number half as big each time. If he keeps doing that, anything could happen. <coughs> half of two wings is one wing. And a bird wouldn't be able to fly. And if the dancing cow had half the number of legs, that's two instead of four, and half of two is one, and she couldn't dance at all. And a spider might start with eight legs, then have only half that number, four, then half again is two, and half is one, and she'd have a terrible time spinning her web. <laughs> We've got to stop the number taker making numbers half as big. I'll get the brain game going. Let's get things back to normal. Brain game, brain 
Break the soul, the club, the use our brain No way to get your brains all linking up together Join up thinking Getting brain power now Brain games Okay, what brain game do we need? One thing has got to go back to two things. And two things go back to four things. And four things go back to eight things. Oh, I'll try to say all that. One becomes four. No, no. Eight becomes two. No. Two becomes... Oh, I don't know. It's hard to remember. I'm not sure that's going to work. Oh... This feels a bit mixed up, this brain gain. Oh, dear. I think we might be making things worse instead of better. I'm sorry. One becomes two. Two becomes four. It's very hard to remember, especially when you're jumping. Is there a quicker way of saying it? Agents, any ideas? If the number takers made numbers half as big as they were... Yes. We can do the opposite and make numbers twice as big as they are. We can double them. I remember that. In the gym. Eight jumped up and the number doubled every time. One doubles to two, two doubles to four, four doubles to eight. So the brain gain is very simple. Double the number. Make the number twice as big. I can do that. Double the number twice as big. That feels better. Double the number of wheels. Twice as many. Double the number. Double. And double again for the rings. Double the number of wheels. And double again. Double, double! Double! Two times as many! Twice as many! Hooray! Everything is back to normal! I knew it would all turn out fine. Yes, I knew there was no... Four! Or should I say two? Ah! I don't like being made half my number! And it could be half again! Too much! Quick, get the number taker to half you again! What? It's your only chance! Oh dear! Number taker! Bet you can't make me half my number! Now that is better! Three! Double the number taker! There being another one of him. Oh, yes. You've done it. Come back now, four. One, two, three, four. Well done, four. I hope that is my number. Let's see it all on screen. Everything was being made half the number. All thanks to the number taker. We sent brain gain. But it was too hard to say all those numbers. So I just said double. So things went back to normal. Except I wasn't very normal. I doubled you too much. Oh no! I've been doubled too much! And I had to get the number taker to halve me. And everything was back to normal. Now watch. I can jump up to double my number. Huh. That's six. Half of six is back to three. Huh. So what's the matter? Where is the number that is exactly half of me? 
I don't know. Maybe I'm a very special number. The number jack without a half number. I'm not sure. Can you think of any other number jacks that haven't got a half number? Or is three the only one? Find out and call the number jack.